Save urgent save Celtic fan check it out. This bomb that just dropped. Taking everyone by surprise, Celtic have. Lil Abada playing for Celtic in his place, he loved it more than he expected. I will clarify what is happening. Parquet Celta now I just asked this. If you don't want to miss any updates. From Celtic yes right to the channel leave your like share videos with your friends. As we approach the end of the January transfer window, Celtic have so far completed just one signing, bringing in 24-year-old German winger Nicolas Kuhn in a £3 million move from Austrian side Rapid Vienna will we have the excitement of a cold jet or two landing at Glasgow Airport, carrying the long-awaited additions to the Celtic squad? Remember the excitement when Ange Postecoglou stepped off a private jet after arriving in Glasgow in June 2021 to take the reins at Celtic Park? One of them worked magnificently for Celtic and indeed Big Ange, but others were less successful, living up to fans' enthusiasm and expectations a relatively recent example of this. That would be Swiss international Albion Ajedi, who had the opportunity to sign for Celtic in the summer of 2020, but decided to go on holiday to think about it. He then decided to sign for the boys and a private jet arrived in Glasgow carrying £5 million signing Neil Lennon from West Ham. Seeing a jetty arrive in Glasgow was as exciting as Celtic's support when it came to a jetty Coons capture aside, indications point to Brendan Rodgers adding a new left-back and striker to his squad and possibly a new goalkeeper, although this is perhaps a greater priority for the summer transfer window as Joe Hart looks like he will. See his contract with Celtic as first-choice goalkeeper, and rightly so. The Celtic boss has indicated he will speak to the former England no. One at the end of the season and see where that takes things. The conversation will likely revolve around Celtic's need to introduce Hart's successor, and it is highly unlikely that it will be Scott Bain or Ben Segrist, who are the reserves at the moment Hart will be pleased to have to compete for the gloves and Celtic will consider signing a goalkeeper who has the status of being first choice for the new season, which begins in early August. A year on the Celtic bench may not sit well with Joe Hart, who loves playing and would have no shortage of options for a year or two elsewhere, perhaps in the championship in England or even another move abroad in the search for a striker, rumours about. Transfers surround the likes of Aberdeen striker Boyan Majowski and Hart's frontman Lawrence Shankland, as well as Danish striker Matthias Kvistgarden, and he is the only one of the three likely to arrive by private jet. Incidentally, a friend of a friend is close to Shanklin's situation and feels the Hearts captain is likely to head to Ibrox rather than Paradise before the end of the month Mayovsky is likely to cost £4.5 million, while it could cost a further £5 million to convince Bronby to part with their striker as they are involved in a three-way title race in Denmark. Celtic's left-back problems continue with Owen Beck, the player the Celtic star recommended to Celtic at the start of September, playing seven minutes for Liverpool against Bournemouth on Sunday. As he was already on loan at Dundee for the first half of the season, this means he will not be able to move away from Anfield until the summer. And speaking of Liverpool, that's where Celtic's next goalkeeper could come from, with Irish international goalkeeper Quiven Kelleher heavily linked with a move to the hoops, if, and it's a big if, Celtic can do with Jurgen Klopp lowers his rather extravagant rating for his second goalkeeper. As mentioned above, it is likely to arrive by summer.